I remember the first shit that I really paid attention to was this cat called Blowfly, and it was like this dirty rap shit, but it was like, it's like probably 1978, and it was crazy, my cousins had it. It was before Sugar Hill Gang, before all that shit, for you kids who don't know, you probably don't even know. I mean, actually, I know you don't know, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool for me. But uh, yeah, he was just like this old dirty man who used to bust raps, like kind of like, would be like Two Shorts mentor, probably. There was this shit called FM TV, which was really dope. It, it was like uh, PBS, I think. Yeah, I know it was for sure. But um, you just come on Channel 12. Yeah, it was just like music videos, and Devo had a, a video, a few videos on there I can remember. The famous one being Whip It, I'm sure. But then there was also shit like Take On Me, <laughs> which was off the chain. Teletoons, and a if I'm not mistaken, it was because MTV had some dispute with the name, so they had to switch it up, you know. Viacom being Viacom, I'm sure, at the time, probably was like, give me that shit. Getting smacked around, <laughs> going, no, you can't have that. But uh, yeah, Teletoons was still dope, though, you know. It was that I experienced a lot of music from there. Actually, I, it's probably where I started liking shit, like, psychedelic furs and probably the cure and all that shit. I know a lot of people front on that, but at that time, that shit was the shit. <laughs> no matter what, no matter what anybody said. So that was pretty dope. The Clashes was, yeah, Clash really dope. Big Audio Dynamite, really dope. All that was really dope for me. Groups like Bow Wow Wow, <laughs> I Want Candy, anybody remember that shit? That was dope. <laughs> yeah, she was fine with a mohawk. I think I probably wanted to get a mohawk because of that chick at one point. Well, I never did because I wasn't that dope. Love Pink Floyd. Love all of that shit. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Metallica, early Metallica, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets. All of that shit is off the chain. Trapped under ice. <laughs> Those songs are retarded. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, Pink Floyd was cool. Honestly, it was a it was an outlet. You know what I'm saying? For a lot of trapped in probably demons. So it's one of those things where you know I just get I, I let it I let it out in the music. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it is now. So, and plus hip hop's not really hip hop anymore. I know that's cliche, but it's not. So I don't even make hip hop. I don't even know what hip hop is really. Realistically, I'm not quite sure what it is. Because I think everybody who does it is pretty sweet. You know what I mean? I'm sure they are at, you know, just to, but the fact that they got to do some dumb shit just to get paid, is ridiculous. I'm sure they have skills, but the shit they do to get played sucks. <laughs> and that's just the straight up, straight up. Like, it, the shit is no good, man. Like, I know you guys can do something better than that. So, you know, right now I just make shit to be like the alter ego of that shit. I mean, it describes itself. It's just some other shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's simple. It's confusing. It's hip-hop, <laughs> it's rock and roll, it's new wave, it's all that shit. But the one thing it's not is the shit that you're hearing on the radio because that, that's not realistic, you know what I mean? That's, that's, not, that's not realistic as far as music is concerned. You guys look dumb, <laughs> you look dumb. It's like some blackface shit, really. You know what I mean? Like fucking, you look silly up there. Up in the club, you look silly. That's all we do? It's retarded. And I know everybody says that. But if everybody says that, then nobody should be doing it. So why are we still doing that shit? Ask yourself. But you know, that's on you. Get paid. I like it.
I'm just gonna do me. <laughs> Good pay. Good pay. I'll make a beat for Pepsi any day. <laughs> Any MC in the world right now, live or dead, to lay down some tracks on me would be my boy Darius, Park Hill, Colorado, all day long. You know what I'm saying? He'd smash that shit. i take him somewhere else, he'd take me somewhere else. And it'd be our shit, and it'd be dope, and people would love it. And that's just how it is. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at with that.